Town Girl, heading to the Frick Museum, which I've never been to before. Um, which is unacceptable, really, because it's one of the big, <laughs> one of the big ones. Um, and it used to be in a different building, and it's while well, that building's going under undergoing some very big renovations, I believe, it's in a different building on Madison Avenue, which is like a brutalist building. Whereas I don't actually know what era the previous one was, but it was old and traditional, shall we say. Um, so apparently, it's really nice to go and see it while it's all in this new setting. So I'm excited. Very nice way to start the day, and it's freezing cold, but beautiful and sunny. And I like that weather a lot. So yeah, all in all, very good start. which I seem to do often when I'm here. Um, the last two I had done in my ear when I was here a while ago healed so well. Um, so I'm gonna get two more because I kind of wanna fill this whole ear. Um, and it's the only place I've had piercings in my cartilage where they've healed, touch wood. It's about to do the same again. Um, and I'm excited. It always makes me feel quite young fresh having any piercings. Um, and they're also are working with me on this video. They haven't forced me to go get my ears pierced. <laughs> but they did ask that I talk about hoops. And I said, what else would I want to talk about, Majo? Will you tell me? Because what do I wear all the time? Hoops. with the with the hoops they sent that little the one with the little green gem recently which I hadn't seen those before I really like that one I, I really like them too I have that one with the clear stone oh it's nice okay I'm gonna clean and then mark okay yeah thank you so much are we keeping the spacing the same yeah I think my plan is to just keep edging up my ear basically sure. so do you ever plan on putting one in between those ones? Uh, maybe. At the moment, I like it being. I like it too. It's intentional. Yeah, thank you. Because on this side, there there's four evenly spaced, and I don't want it. To, yeah. Thank you. Have you had a piercing up here before? Uh, yeah, a while ago. I mean, years ago. That was right around where you had it before. Right but I, I don't love it. I am going to pack these up so that I don't lose them. Great, thanks. Uh, and then I'll connect with you. I'll give you an aftercare card. You probably received one last. I got my piercing done. It's that top stud. It's obviously red because it's literally just been done, but I love it. And then we switched the two studs that I had underneath that one for these two hoops. Um, and this is also new from a jury, which has this little green gem in it which I love and that's so nice and then these are the these are smaller hoops than these ones these are the big ones that I always wear my preferred hoop style is lots of smaller ones maybe sometimes just swap out the bottom one for like more of a statement or a bigger hoop but for my everyday look this is what I like so I've currently got four on this side these are all the same ones and then they have these 
charms, excuse that spot, so it's pretending it's not happening. Um, they have these dangly charms, which I love. This is new. I thought that was such a nice way to make it all feel a bit fresh. Um, and I think it looks really nice all together. I don't, never say never to anything, but I don't think I'm gonna get more piercings on this side and just wanna keep piercing this ear. Um, that's the fourth piercing I've had at Majuri in uh, New York. And they're always really good because the piercings are always really honest. So I'd gone in saying that I wanted to switch out the two studs for two hoops and get two new piercings. And she was just like, it's too much. Like you, you, it's already quite a lot for you to switch from a stud to a hoop. Um, because hoops generally can like, irritate a piercing more, she was explaining. And because they spin, you can get bacteria running through it quicker. So she was like, that's already something that can um, we're a bit cautious about and then adding two piercings on top of that she was like I'd advise against it and I listened to her advice because she seemed wise and she was the professional but I really appreciate when you go somewhere like that and they're actually honest with you rather than doing it and then coming away and thinking oh now they're all like infected or horrible or whatever um, and she also said that I um, can call her or message her if the two ones that we swapped into hoops get sore or red or anything um, and I don't want them switched back over the next couple of weeks she was like just call me and come in and we'll do that and she said just keep an eye on them all so personally i think that's very good customer experience because um i think it's better that they're honest about these things and good to know that i can go back for more aftercare if i want to but i love absolutely love how that looks this is yeah this is my day-to-day -day ear situation at the moment and I really like it. The, the hoops that I have on here, I've talked about these before, but they are like the most perfect gold hoop. They're so great. Um, and then like going with this closer ones as you go further up the air, I think looks quite smart. What's she doing? Is it just like a nice video? Yeah, just a little vloggy one. But I haven't got anywhere near enough stuff for it. So as I go, remember. on a sunny cold Friday. Um, I've got a really bad hangover since I've been in my 30s. My hangovers are awful. Um, it's unfortunately true what they say. In my experience they get really bad when you turn 30 and I don't deserve to feel as bad as I feel I just had a few drinks and dinner last night was a very sensible fare and I am um, it's driven me to have a side fringe again look at that oh it's a real testament to my mental state <laughs> oopsie doopsie I bought that jacket $150. I thought that was really quite good for a thick leather jacket and I like the length of it. Oh my god guys, that record shop was amazing. It's called Billy's Record Salon. Um, I bought a Brian Eno one which is like live bootleg recordings from Glastonbury but they had this Pink Floyd record the Wish You Were Here which is my favourite one um, in amazing condition but it was $80 um, I think I'm going to be thinking about it for a while but I couldn't in that moment justify $80 for a record really but it was I'll put a picture of it in here it was so cool that shop was that was so nice. The man in there was so lovely as well. Um, I really enjoyed that. Um, and I just very pleased my vintage jacket. And now I don't have. I really need a bloody wee, so I might try to find a coffee shop, have a wee, and then get the train back home. I've accidentally spent enough money, which wasn't the plan, but that's what happens in New York. <laughs> I got. I love it. 
I just noticed as well, it's got a zippy out inner. So it's like padded here slightly and you can zip it out. So then in the summer, it will, um, it's really message. It, I can wear it with like a t-shirt in the summer. I'm really pleased. It's so thick and heavy. It's a similar cut and shape to the vintage suede one I have that I've worn so much. And then I've got the, all the Majuri jewels in. No rings today, actually. We're just doing earrings. Um, and I'm going out. Hang on. Oh, I'm so pleased with it. Uniqlo knit from Testing Basics. Mango Trues, I keep wearing a lot. Tabbies, slow label scarf. I am sick of seeing myself in all black or all dark colors, but I can't seem to stay away from it. Anything else, I'm like, I feel a lot less chic at the moment in anything that's not dark colors. So we shall embrace. It's so good. It's literally, it takes place like I'm like, I'm wonder lost in the heart. One day, I just left what's fast becoming one of my favorite places to sit and have a coffee it's called Book Club in the East Village. Um, and it's just like a bookshop cafe place, but everyone's reading and it's just so nice to sit in there. So I've just been there and had my coffee and read for a bit. Um, it's a bank holiday here today. I mean, they don't call it bank holiday, but they just call it a holiday. Um, so there's lots of people out and about, which is really nice. And it's another beautiful day. So I'm feeling really good. Um, and I've got some books to talk about because I finished um, oh my gosh, what's it called? The Sense of an Ending by Julian Barnes. Is that the hell? Is that what it's called? Anyway, and I've just started reading Bunny, um, which is like a bit of a horror one that loads of you recommended that I really can't put down. It's so good. Um, so yeah, I'll do like a proper book update at some point in this. Um, and yeah, lovely Monday so far. Wearing a very nice shawl from Cos. And I've had for ages and never wear, but it's so cold, it's coming in very handy. I'm at home watching Brideshead Revisited with a hot lemon and water. Just been to the shops. I've had got that lovely feeling in a day that you get when you know you've gone out for the last time and you can bed in for the evening. That day was the and I'm at a bath and I'm gonna read loads. And I'm just going to have the nicest, most wholesome Monday night in. Sorry, Charles Ryder is distracting from what I'm saying, which is far more important. Um, after a bit of a heavy, boozy weekend, um, unfortunately, well not fortunately because it was great and fun, but now I'm like, one must become wholesome again. And one is being wholesome, so that's good. Um, something really exciting is happening tomorrow, I hope. I ordered a bed frame. I went to a friend's house and she had a really nice bed frame and I was like, oh, I kind of want a bed frame. I've been like, just having a mattress on the floor, which initially I really liked and like the aesthetic of it. But now every time I walk in the room, I'm like, just kind of just looks like a mattress on the floor. <laughs> um, and she went, oh, I got this off Amazon. It was $200. I was like, oh. never have I clicked on a link faster in my life. So that's coming tomorrow. And I will go move around that whole room and I can't wait and have a bed and hopefully she said it was a really great bed and it was i'll link it it looks really good so that's tomorrow and i'm excited about it okay i'm gonna do a groceries haul because this is the kind of content that i live for um and i'm still not over the joy of doing grocery shopping in america um i love it i just think it's great there's so many options some things are pretty standard this avocado that i got spinach this brand of pasta, I've got some awesome, I'm going to make some awesome tonight. This brand you see all the time in London, that wasn't very exciting. Um, chickpea, Goya brand, I also got some chorizo from this brand, don't see that in London. And the diced, or well we call them chopped tomatoes as well, but the chopped tomatoes, whole peeled tomatoes, tinned tomato ranges are extensive. How can there be so many options? It's so good and so overwhelming. I got the diced ones with no salt added, because I'm going to salt them myself. Um, and that was fun. The world of chicken and vegetable stock, beef stock, broths, is so different here. In the UK, you 
almost exclusive. I ne I've never seen it like this in the UK. Bone broth you get like this. Um, but stock to me has always been a stock cube, like an OXO cube or there's fancier ones now. Always a stock cube. The only place I've seen stock cubes here, I admit I've never looked for them in Trader Joe's, but Italy had some for great fucking expense. This is like the standard way that you get stock. Wild, incorrect if I had to pick as well. I, I miss a stock cube, I won't lie. Um, what else did I get? I got, um, oh, I got some smoked paprika. Pretty standard, it was $10 though, which seemed expensive, but I suppose it's gonna last me a really long time. And I bought a, a soft drink because the drink selection here is um, insane as well. It's probably the most overwhelming um, aisle. I'm gonna try this now. I keep seeing this on TikTok. I keep seeing them do loads of ads. This is an ad to be clear, but I see, keep seeing loads of people drink it. I've been wanting to try it. It's a prebiotic soda, with four grams of sugar in. The brand's called Poppy. And um, it's this, it's a strawberry lemon flavor. I'm gonna try it. Oh, it smells really sweet. I don't like that. I do not like that. Why do people like that? That tastes really... Oh, oh, that tastes really weird. Oh, but then actually it's changing a little bit. Mm. Oh, the aftertaste is nice, but the initial taste... Oh, the aftertaste is good though. Very sweet. Very, very, very sweet. Prebiotic soda. I can't get my head around that. I don't think this is for me. No, I think that's a no. Mm. Oh, no, 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 oh, no, no, no. Anyway, that was a waste of $3, but I'm glad I got to try it. Um, and I'm gonna make myself some pasta um, for dinner and sit and read, but I thought I'd do a grocery haul because I love them. I went to Essex Market for this one, if you're interested, which is very expensive and fancy. And if you haven't been before, it's like a huge indoor market with loads of different stalls. Um, and it's a, I, tend, I end up tending to go there when I just need bits, while like I've got most of the ingredients, need the extra bits, and then obviously it never ends there. You just get so distracted by everything. Um, but it was very enjoyable, so no regrets, apart from buying this, which... Mm. Mm -mm. I've been stuck in the apartment all day waiting for this bed to arrive from Amazon. Um, it's like half three and I have literally not been out of the house. I'm going insane. It's the only thing I don't like living about living on my own that you just can end up being beholden to deliveries. Um, especially obviously when it's something very big that you can't really miss. So hopefully he'll be here at some point and then I can A, leave the house for my sanity um, and B, build a bed to sleep in tonight, which I'm really excited about. I've swapped the rugs over, I've gone back to the navy blue rug, I'm gonna show you it all when it's finished. And I'm doing the thing that I always do that I convince myself that I can um, build furniture by myself. I don't see why I can't do that. Look at the state of this jumper. This is what it looks like, because I've been cleaning and doing tidying up and just, you know, other, other phrases you can use for cleaning all day. The state of me. Out of the house, feeling super frustrated at myself because I've just not had a productive day. I've been stuck in all day and I haven't made the most of it either. I've procrastinated. It's already been one of those where I could have got so much stuff at home and got some bits, but it's just been one of those. So I'm feeling really frustrated at myself now at like 4.30. I'm going to try and have a flurry of activity. Um, but yeah, sometimes they happen, don't they, those days? Um, so, oh. Oh, look at the lovely, lovely light on the lovely, gorgeous New york -y building. Oof, it's the bestest, isn't it? Um, it's light to like a bit after five at the moment too, which feels lovely. I would love to go for a drink, but I'm not going to. I'm going to stay in and read, and resist the urge to go and read at a bar. Um, after I've run some errands and at least felt like I've accomplished something today. Okay, so the bed arrived. I had to get a man from Task Rabbit to come and bring up the stairs. Oh, it's a bad. Bring it up the stairs for me. 
these are all the woes and perils of um, living alone on the fifth floor. Although if I was living with somebody, I'm not sure that I'd be able to help anybody with that. That bed frame felt like it weighed as much as I did. Um, <clears throat> and spent the whole evening building it. It's really great quality, I'm really pleased with it. I did, however, get the wrong size, didn't I? So I've got a king size bed frame with a queen mattress on it. So I'm not gonna show you because I don't want this mistake immortalized on the internet, really. I couldn't sleep because I was so mad with myself. I didn't even think, I was just so sure I had a king sized mattress, so sure. I felt like I could remember when I bought the mattress when I first moved in here and having the whole thought process of, yeah, get a king, because then if you have to buy bedding for a king size bed, it will also fit your bed in London. And obviously that was made up, made up thought process because I bought queen size bed and then I bought queen size bedding and a queen size mattress. No, duvet. And I didn't check because I was so sure about that. I didn't even think to check, but I just knew. And then it was wrong. And honestly, I couldn't sleep. I was so mad at myself. I was in such a bad mood. Um, I have to feel like my whole day was dictated by the arrival of this bed. But it's a new day now, and I'm just gonna tackle the whole thing and then show you that room because we don't need to, we don't need to know about it. I'll still link the bed on Amazon um, so you can see it. Um, it's really good, but it's $250. It's, the quality is really, really good and it was very easy to build, but it's very heavy. So if you live upstairs, you're gonna need either one very strong man or two adequately strong people to do it. Um, so that's that. That was really grown up of me, wasn't it? And a great success. Anyway, um, <clears throat> I am going out. I've been doing lots of out and about things in this vlog, so I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know because there was a comment on the last one saying that you wanted to see more out and about -y bits, which I am. I know I'm bad at doing. I do prefer to just sit and talk to you guys when I'm indoors. Um, so we're going to go out and about, outy bouty one last time. I'm going to take you to this ginormous bookshop because I want to buy a Stephen King book. I want to buy Pet Cemetery. Books are very expensive in America. I don't know if I've said that before. But they have quite a lot of secondhand books in this bookshop. It's called Strand um, on East 12th, I think. East 12th and Broadway. Um, and it's not my favourite bookshop in the city because of how it's overwhelmingly big. But I've been to a couple of other um, secondhand bookstores and they didn't have it. Maybe I need to film like when I'm back in spring and it's not so cold. Maybe I need to film like a my favourite New york -y spot kind of a video. Would we like that? Because I was thinking about all the secondhand bookshops that I know and love. Um, oh, I'm just watching a girl in a really good outfit walk past down there. Very stylish lady. Um, She's distracted me from my train of thought. So yeah, we're gonna go to Strand, um, which, it, like I said, is not my favorite, but if you're here visiting, I recommend it. It's kind, it would kind of be like going to Foils in London, except it's even bigger, and they have secondhand books, which I don't think Foils have any of. So we're gonna go do that as our concluding thing, and I'm just gonna once again talk about hoopies and earrings. This is healing really nicely. It has been sore, won't lie. But it, as you can see, it's not red or swollen or anything. And the two that I had my hoops, new hoops put in, touch wood, aren't objecting to it yet. And I've just put these ones in today. Um, I'm wearing like just, it's, it's like three degrees here. It's really cold every day. So it really is just coat, knits, jeans, boots, weather. You know, it, I just find for a period, apart from that girl who looked great actually and practical, but for a period in um, the winter here, you really just have to kind of wear the same thing every day, or I find I do, um, because it's so cold. So it's quite nice having um, changing earrings and bags and little bits like that that make you feel a bit refreshed. Anyway, I've just talked for four and a half minutes, and every time I think about the bed frame, it makes me like, it makes me really cross myself actually is what it makes me do and just think why don't you check things why are you not a more responsible adult anyway let's go and let me show you the strand um, it's like a half hour walk so we'll do that too together i know i've talked a lot about um walking and how much walking is such a big part of my life and why it also makes me love new york so much um and I, it's because from going just from 
A to B. There are so many different routes you can take because of it all being in blocks, obviously. Um, and I especially love that when I'm walking through the East Village, like I'm walking down East Third now. And when I walk back, I will make sure I don't walk down this one. Um, and yeah, it makes it like really stimulating all the time. Um, I know I've said all this before, but it really is something I still get so much pleasure out of. 18 miles of books. That's a lot of books. there for a while and thought don't be picky and go on a wild goose chase around New York with a certain cover of the book for the love of god had a hard road with myself and bought that one they didn't have a second hand copy and that's what I was hoping for like a super like 80s style horror cover um, but I actually wouldn't be surprised if they're also quite expensive which I might be completely wrong um, but yeah that was Strand it's ginormous I didn't even go downstairs because it's just overwhelmingly big but definitely worth a visit and now I'm just going to wander home. Right, I'm going to say goodbye to you all and say thank you to Majuri for working with me on this video. I'm going to link all of the pieces mentioned in the description box. I'll also link the shop on Spring Street um, in New York if you did want to book and get a piercing um, just so you know exactly which shop I went to to have that done because I thought it was really great. Um, and yeah, all of the hoops and everything, the different hoops I wear all the time will be linked in the description box. Um, so yeah, big thank you to everyone for watching. Big thank you to Majuri for always being so supportive and working with me just so frequently. I'm so grateful and so grateful to get to work with a brand that I just wear every single day. Like I always have their hoops in and it's just such an effortless collaboration, which is just the most perfect thing that you can hope for really. Um, I'm always really grateful for it. So thank you to all involved. Thank you to you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.